If you turn over a rock or an old rotting log, you're likely to find termites. In Alabama, we have subterranean termites that are natural and part of the forest system. They decompose wood and other rotting limbs and twigs and return it back into soil. Termites are considered good insects as long as they're not in our homes and chewing on wood there, but they're very beneficial and much needed as part of the natural ecosystem. Termites are like ants in that they have different jobs. You have workers and you have soldiers. In the springtime, termites begin to swarm to create new colonies. You will find males with wings and females with wings that will, be, that will fly away from the colony to create new nests. Uh-oh, look what we have here. We have a southern unstriped scorpion. Scorpions are easily to be found outside under rocks. That's the favorite place to find them. Scorpions are arachnids, meaning they have eight legs and are related to the spiders, so they're not considered insects. Scorpions in Alabama typically are around two inches in length. They also are considered predators. They have front pinchers and they have a stinger. They use the stinger on the tip of their tail to inject the victim with a lethal dose of venom. So be careful with these because they will sting. Scorpions can sometimes be found in the house, especially during the winter times. Be careful walking around at night because you do not want to step on this guy. It will hurt. Hey, do you see that? What is that? Is that a hummingbird? No. That's a hummingbird moth. This insect is actually a moth, not a hummingbird. They primarily feed during the night, but occasionally you will catch them out during the daytime feeding on the nectar of flowers. Just like a hummingbird, the moth's buzzing and humming sound is created by the rapid wing movement of about 70 times per second, allowing it to fly up to 12 miles per hour. Wow. You see it here feeding on the flowers. It's using a long tongue called a proboscis that rolls out sort of like a tube, sort of like a straw, to reach the nectar inside the flowers. That big mound of dirt right there is fire ants. Fire ants are all over the state of Alabama, and if you've never met one, you probably will soon. Fire ants are aggressive ants that live in large colonies, they may be thousands and thousands in one particular colony. If you disturb the mounds, they are going to come get you. They sting and bite and leave a small whelp on your body. In a typical fire ant mound, you're going to find workers, soldiers, and a queen, and they're all girls. You just disturb them, and they're now mad. You have a special treat for our last insect. A lot of insects only come out at night. They're considered nocturnal. Here we have a wonderful surprise that came to the porch lights one evening. Here is the Luna moth. These beautiful light green moths are one of the most favorite moths to see at night. The Luna moth has a wingspan of amazing four and a half inches wide. It starts off as a caterpillar and eats and eats for about three weeks until it pupates into a moth. Believe it or not, these adult moths do not have a mouth and do not ever eat. Like a lot of bugs, these moths are attracted to outside lights. It's not sure exactly why they do that. Unfortunately, as adults, they have a very short lifespan as they only live for about a week. We hope you've enjoyed our top 10 bugs for today. We'll have more later. For the Alabama Cooperative Extension System, I'm Shane Harris. Be, be sure to visit us on our website to check out more youth and 4-H programs at www.asis.edu.